we've got here is a, um, a router and it's, as you can see on here it's got the symbol for class 2 so it's a double insulated tool. We're about to uh, show you how to do a powder leakage test on this grinder. Um, so what I'm going to do now after obviously this uh, scenario presumes that I've already done my visual inspection so we've done that. Now we're actually going to do a test on the iPad. So I'll turn it around here. I have the wand lead attached. And then I come over to my pack tester. I select auto test codes. And I find a class 2 test, which starts, we're going to use test code 208. So we click onto that. Is it okay, the plug, the lead, the case, mechanical and safety features? Yep, that's all good. Then we move forward. Now going to do a differential leakage test. We press start on here, and because this has got moving parts, we've got it switched off at the moment, and the pack tester will tell me it's switched off, and then when it's safe to operate it, I will then put two hands on here and pull the trigger. So I've pressed start. It's going to tell me it's not switched on. No, it's telling me appliance is probably switched off. So we press OK. We're going to, we're going to carry on. And then I've got both hands on here, I pull the trigger. Making sure when you finish that you've released the switch. And the leakage was very low, 0.00 of a milliamp, it's as low as you can get. Then we move forward with the arrow key and we then enter the information and can print a tag. We won't do that now, but that's where we would go. Back to do an insulation test, this time only at 500 volts instead of a leakage test. So this is a non-going test. We're going to do it on this um, Makita router. As we can see again here, it is a double insulated or class 2 tool. So I've already done my visual inspection. <coughs> I'm coming to my pack tester. I've got my wand lead plugged into the... Uh, into the pack and attached to the metal of the, of the router. <coughs> I'm then selecting um, test code 201. It says class 2 powered up test for tools and appliances. So we're going to click onto that. It's asking me whether it's visually okay. Everything's good. I click onto that. Put the switch in the on position. It's now doing the insulation test at 500 volts. It has passed that test. We click onto here. We want to add an appliance. So right in here, router. It's coming up with router already, and then we click onto the uh, site uh, the print icon, and we print a label. And here we have the label. 